So I'm excited to turn it over to Mr. Brad Lawrence and Emily Sika for our spring concert. Put your hands together. Alrighty, so this first group is a group that has not existed here at VA before. I was approached by uh, Mrs. Angela Sinna, and she was like, hey, our girls play violin, and I know a few other people do as well. So I was like, well, we probably should showcase them. And so we came up with a string ensemble, threw a couple ups and downs, and managed to make it work. So the first piece that we'll be opening with here is a waltz from Sleeping Beauty, which is a ballet written by Yodor Tchaikovsky um, in the late 1800s. So please enjoy the waltz from Sleeping Beauty. Just to conclude these groups, I didn't want to take all night tonight, so I decided that our smaller group were going to do two pieces each tonight. To finish, we have What Will We Do With a Drunken Sailor? You, most of you, I would assume, know the sea shanty. It's very, very popular. I think what's very, very impressive about this group is most of them have never played violin in any sort of ensemble before. It's been a lot of individualized lessons. So this is for a couple of these kids, their first time playing in an ensemble together. So that's kind of very impressive. So, um, we will conclude here with our, at least our spring ensemble, with what will we do with the drum and sailing?
Alrighty, so now we will transition to our middle school full-size band. Um, this group has made a lot of strides this year, I think. It's been very, very impressive. These six and seven graders have put in a lot of work. So, to start with here, we will be beginning with the, uh, the Mandalorian. So this is the main theme of the hit show from Disney Plus, The Mandalorian. I had some students come up to me and said, hey, we should play some Star Wars stuff. And I was like, okay. So, without further ado, here is The Mandalorian. A very popular um, pep band tune for our high school, um, and the trombones let me know every day that they all have it memorized. It is Lion Sleeps Tonight, um, but we have a middle school concert band version of it to play for you. So um, I was told by our percussionist to stall a little bit, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think you all know this piece, so there's not much else that I need to say about it. Um, I don't know any good jokes, that's the problem. Us Iowans, we are not funny. We're not. We aren't. We gave that all of the Minnesotans. It's way better than the corn anywhere else. I was just giving a thumbs up like the question, so I would stop stalling.
what made that piece really, really hard is if you heard the eight notes, they kind of had a little bit of a bounce to them. They are not written that way in the music. So the kids had to look at the eighth notes and then just on the fly, we've been working on that for the last month, month and a half-ish of our rehearsals. So they've made a lot of strides on that. Okay, so our last piece here is from the um, just incredible piece of cinematography known as the Lego movie. Um, and this is the song that, after watching this movie, was stuck in my head for about, mm, about a year and a half. So, to conclude our middle school band portion of the concert, we have Everything is Awesome.
my apartment one day, and I came up, came up with a chorus, and I was like, this would be a fun thing to teach to my middle school choir. And then we were doing it, and we're like, and I was asking the kids, what does it need? And they're like, it needs more words, it needs verses. And I was like, you're right, it needs to be a bigger song, I guess. So, all of these words that we added in were suggestions from the kids. I just kind of put it all together. And the body percussion that we did at the end, that was also a suggestion from kids. This was a big collaboration, and it was really, really fun to do, and they had a lot of wonderful suggestions. And this was just all the words that I want them to remember about themselves, for me to remember about myself, for everyone to remember about themselves. Just very empowering. One girl called it in kind of the affirmation song. So, I thought it was a really nice thing for them to sing every day. So it's really fun to be collaborate with them. After this, we have God Help the Outcasts. This is our last song with just our sixth and seventh grade choir. They did a wonderful job, very hardworking. And we have two solos. We have Cecilia, the first solo, and then Mary doing the second solo.
now we need the eighth graders to come down and they're gonna do the, um, their song Country Roads. So come on down, eighth graders. And after that, we have A Million Dreams with all of the middle school.
and set up. I can talk a little bit about Jazz Band. So, the Jazz Band after last year was kind of disbanded. There wasn't really much of a plan going forward with Jazz Band after last year. Um, however, I had a, a quite a few students and some faculty members who came to me and said, hey, we need to restart this. We need to keep going with Jazz Band um, and, and keep her going. So, here just a few months ago, we managed to find a solid time we could rehearse. Uh, with all, I believe there's 10 of us in this, somewhere in there, um, where we could all get together and rehearse um, weekly. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this. Our, our first piece that we're going to be playing with Jasmine is Over the Rainbow, which is from um, the famous movie The Wizard of Oz, um, sung by Dorothy, who is from Kansas. Um, which is very similar to Iowa, I've heard. I've never been, but apparently they just have wheat fields, we have cornfields. Um, so, please enjoy this jazz arrangements of Over the Rainbow. Oh, yeah. and also, I suppose I should also mention some solos we've got going on in this. We've got Luke McCray on trumpets, and I believe Owen also, Owen Donowich on saxophone, also has a solo, so be listening to those. So I folded. Um, so um, I'm not going to point fingers though. So please enjoy uh, Bruno Mars's Uptown Funk. 
Thank you.
one. I kind of ended up picking a, a little bit of a Disney theme, kind of on accident. Um, so after this, we have High School Musical. We have a ton of solos. Those are all on your program. Very excited for you to hear those. After that, we have The Road Home. And with The Road Home, there's a tradition of doing a um, slideshow of all the seniors so we can see some fun messages and fun pictures with that. But first, here is High School Musical. Thank you. 
given many years to choir, and even though I haven't been there for them, I'm really thankful that they've been here and we've had great times, really great work together. So, this song is called The Road Home, and you can have this slide show to watch as well. So we went to contests over in Pine Island, 
um, where we had a very, very good showing. So choir, I, she never mentioned this, so her parents didn't really know about it. They got a, like a top mark. So in at contests, there are superior, excellent, good, and poor ratings. Superior is the best, poor is the worst. Choir got superior, so they got a very, very top notch at the contest. We got an excellent, however, we were about two and a third points away from getting a superior. So we got a very, very high excellent, and it's our first time going in five years, so I'm very, very pleased with that. It's something to build on for the future. Yeah. So, I need to spell still some because our person who's introducing our first piece is currently putting chairs away. Um, I also want to reiterate um, Emily Sika's uh, thanks for coming out tonight. We really, really appreciate it. Um, it. It's fun putting this together, but it doesn't mean anything if we can't showcase it. So, thank you for coming out and being a great audience for us. I really appreciate it. I know they really appreciate it. You good? Okay. Here to introduce our first song, our senior, Alicia. So hi, my name is Alicia Garcia Lopez, and I am a senior plan out player and a member of uh, band leadership. And we're gonna our first song is Bohemian Rhapsody, recorded by Queen, and it is one of the most recognizable songs from the 1970s. So, and from the 19th, from the 20th century. The arrangement is by John Barry, and it is a complicated piece, but it's also really fun to play.
My name is Monica Wilder, and I'm a sophomore flute player and a member of the band student leadership team. Hedwig's theme is more popularly known as the Harry Potter theme and was originally written by the famous John Williams. This piece includes the themes from the beginning of the movie and the scenes with spiders from the second movie, The Chamber of Secrets. Please enjoy Hedwig's theme.
All right, and before we do our last song, I, I have a couple of congratulations in order. Um, first of all, the Cool School Band, we did a uh, March Madness Bracket Challenge. Congratulations, Michaela, wherever you are, you won. Good job. I don't know what you won, but you won. Good job. Oh, she's up there. Good job. Hey, there we go. Good job. Um, middle School Band, just a couple things uh, here for the end of the year. Middle School Band, we're going to be doing um, some general music curriculum, we're talking about composers, music eras, learning some more scales. I'm also going to be doing something called Band Olympics. I think I maybe may have touched on that. Yes. High school band, we got to get ready for the commencement. Merry day, all the fun things at the end of the year. Speaking of end of the year, we do have one senior in the band, that is Alicia Garcia Lopez. Alicia, you want to stand up, please? Stand up, please. The only other um, award I want to talk about is those who lettered in band. So this may be different to how it was done in the past. However, what it was was essentially a combination of you know how many pep bands you went to, whether you did jazz band or many multiple things. Um, so please stand when your name is read, or if you are a percussionist, just wave, I guess. Okay. Uh, Mary Cunningham, percussionist. <laughs> Megan Sina, flutes. Sophie's. Blake Anderson, trombone. Shane Francis, clarinet. Tommy Coonsy, tuba. Ann Hazelton, clarinet. Holy Boy, trumpet. Alicia, clarinet. Drama, Eastman, saxophone, Langston, clarinet, Luke, trumpet, Rocky, trombone, and Owen Dotterwich, saxophone. Our band of letterers this year. Right. Thank you. Okay, so the last piece um, is a piece where you, you may not recognize the name, but I'm going to let the song speak for itself. Um, you will know the song when it starts to play. So please enjoy the Astley Symphony. No. 